Hi guys, I'm redoing this video. I made one originally and posted it, but I felt like I was a little unclear, so I'm making a new one. My selected media for this week was On the Basis of Sex, and it's a movie, it's like a biopic about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, RBG, and she's the best, so that's why I chose her. I also find it very interesting um, that a lot of the work she did, we we are benefiting from it, like women and men too, we're benefiting from it, but you never really seem to, people never really seem to acknowledge her as the person that got us to this place that we are today. So this whole biopic is basically about RBG and how she worked on a case that was actually discriminating against men and how she turned that into why are we discriminating on the basis of sex in our law at all. And it was basically how she got to that point working alongside her husband who's also a lawyer or training to be a lawyer at pre-law and or at harvard in law school and yeah so this sh um, movie was actually written by her nephew which is really interesting and i think it's it's cool because they actually chose a case that was not one of her big biggest cases and that too gives you a little perspective on just the tiny things that she did that got us to the cool place that we are today. So the media that I selected um, to reinforce the idea of on the basis of sex is um, RBG co-founded the ACLU Women's Rights Movement. So there's an article that describes all of that and basically what that does for us today, what it did for us in the past, the history of it. And then the next article that I chose was from Bustle. And that is really interesting because it gives us some insight into laws that are still discriminating against women today. There are certain states that have kind of insane laws that I didn't even know still existed. So a lot of that is about um, like going out in public, wearing certain things. So just look at it because there's a bunch of states that just you, you don't expect some of the laws. Um, and it kind of, you, you kind of question the progress that's been made in America when you read some of that. Uh, the third article that I chose was from Slate. And so obviously this is going to give you an insight into a piece of Ruth's life. And there are a lot, there's a lot of commentary saying that it is really accurate. But then this particular article gives you some insight into what happened in the movie versus what happened in real life. And for the most part, it's pretty accurate. But there are some parts that differ, and I just thought it was a cool read, especially because the parts that differ is you wouldn't you wouldn't think that that's what they would uh, switch out about it. Anyway, my four discussion questions that I chose were: at the dinner party, Martin Ginsburg says how a government taxes its citizens is a direct declaration of a country's values. A lot of people still believe this today, whereas a lot of people choose to ignore this fact. So, to what extent does this statement still hold true? Have we made progress since the time this movie reflects? If so, how? And it doesn't just have to be about women. It could be about any minority group or anybody that's um, oppressed. So if you want to talk about that, um, it's a pretty broad but question that you can take into very specifics. Um, the second question I chose were there were some aspects of Ruth's life that were twisted and or changed for the biopic, which you can read in the Slate article. After watching the movie and reading the materials, are these important, or does the biopic still hold the same value? The third question I wrote was, a term we use a lot in today's culture in regards to men explaining things in a patronizing tone is mansplaining. Analyze the situations of mansplaining throughout this movie and discuss or describe situations in which those still happens in your school or professional life. I wanted to focus more on school or professional life because that's where Ruth um, experiences it a lot in the movie. And um, since you're watching this video before you watch the movie, I want you to try to notice the amount of times you see mansplaining or men explaining things turn a condescending tone because once you watch it through that lens you realize it a lot and genuinely made me very angry throughout the film and the fourth question i wrote was the choice to write a movie about a case in which ruth works alongside her husband was a very distinct one how does this change your opinion about the movie as there are other bigger cases that ruth worked on without him so those are my four discussion questions and the connection to this class that i think that this movie has is it kind of again shows you the behind-the-scenes work of how women got to where they are today in the law. So there are a lot of laws that are written in there that allow us to do the things we can do today, all thanks to RPG. 
Um, and also, I think that there's a lot of mansplaining, condescending tones towards women in this. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did. Um, again, really keep in mind, look at how condescending the men are. I mean, there's a lot of other aspects that are very gendered in this movie. And again, that's kind of the point of how to describe how gendered it was at the time. But just keep an eye out for the mansplaining. And I think that you'll get the same angry effect, but value effect, valuable effect that I got out of it. So thanks.